Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In my previous tutorials, you'll hear me talking about Raspberry Pis and how to turn them into a personal cloud storage and retro consoles. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B from Nozick Tech. This is a full Raspberry Pi kit, which you can turn them again into a retro console, TV box, or retro Pi without purchasing any additional hardware. So let's see what's in the box. This Raspberry Pi comes with a five volt power supply, 2.5 amps. I'll put everything here on my desk so you can have a better view. It comes with a clear case with a 32 gigabyte SD card, thermal paste, a five foot HDMI cable, the heat sink, and obviously the motherboard, which is inside that box to my right. Also, it comes with the SD card reader that you can plug into a computer and flash that SD card and turn that Raspberry Pi 3 into whatever it is that you need or want. Now, I'll unpack that case and remove the HDMI cable to have space here. Now, from left to right, that is the top section of the case, middle section, and bottom. I'll unpack here the motherboard. It comes inside of an anti-static paper. Really cool. Here it is. And now the heatsink. Okay. Now the heatsink belongs to the top section. I'll remove the uh, SD card and the SD card reader again for more space. So I can show you guys how to um, apply the thermal paste uh, to the heatsink and to the motherboard. As you can see, this motherboard has USB, Ethernet port, HDMI uh, port, so that way you can plug it into a monitor. It's exactly, it's a computer. It's a low power computer, really tiny. So I'll uncap here the uh, thermal paste and apply a small amount to the heatsink. I'm gonna start with the big one first. And you can grab a credit card or something flat and try to uh, even out the uh, thermal paste to the entire uh, heat sink, as you can see. Just enough here that you can put it there and it'll stick to the chip. The same with a small one. Spread it out evenly and then attach it to the small uh, chip. That's it. Now grab the bottom part of the case. And if you notice there, it has a little notch. So you have to make sure that it's under that little notch. So what you do is grab it. And the first thing you do is insert the back section like, like so. So you'll be pushing it backwards and then downwards until you hear a clip sound. And that's it. It'll be properly attached to the bottom section. Now the middle section is uh, foolproof. It only goes in one way. Now make sure you pr uh, present it that nothing of the motherboard is being outside or anything like that. And then once you make sure that is properly presented, then uh, put a little bit of pressure again until it's not snaps in place. Done. The top section again, it only goes in one way. So just locate those little two clips. It goes onto the back section and press it in until you again hear a clipping sound. Once done, you have fully assembled your Raspberry Pi 3. I'll recap this thermal paste for other future projects. And now all that's left is for you to uh, flash that SD card and turn it into whatever it is that you need. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you like this video, 
please subscribe and like also i have in the description box below a link if you're interested in this uh, raspberry pi and how to turn them into a personal cloud storage or retro console thank you very much